Hey guys, we are so excited for today's topic. In this video today, we're going to be talking about how you can transfer your Teams meetings from your phone to your computer and from your computer to your phone, which is a pretty cool thing to do and is super useful when you are on the go or you need to step away from your desk for a moment and you can continue to do that meeting seamlessly and still be very efficient. So let's get started. All right, so we're super excited to talk about this feature. We use it all the time in our team's meetings. And we're kind of, let me just paint the scenario about why you would want to do this. So let's say that you're in a meeting like you have here. You have your headphones on, your, your multiple people are in there. But then you're like, mm, I'd like to go get some more coffee. I'm running kind of low, right? You could um, just put your headset down and walk away, right? But, mm, you know, what another option would be is to what you can do is you can basically turn off the video for your meeting, which isn't unusual to do, and then you transfer the call to your phone. You still have the conversation, so you're still in the Teams chat, and you don't have to have an actual phone system running through Teams to accomplish this. We do it all the time. We have lots of phone calls through Teams uh, without having a call system. So we're not, we're not talking about making all this work because you have a phone system with Teams. You can use this right out of the box with Teams. We make tons of phone calls, but there are two things that you need to have in order for this to function the way you need. First, you need to have Teams on your computer and have a headphones mic like we're talking about. And then on your iPhone or mobile device, you need to have the Teams app. And you need to have it already set up and logged in as the same user that you're logged in as your machine because that's how it's able to identify. They both talk together and they work in tandem. So it knows when you're in a team meeting like we are right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my screen and kind of show you how this works. All right, so now as you see here, I, I'm, I'm in this meeting with Kaylee. So because we're using Zoom to record this, we can't use the video or you would see her lovely face and mine as well. <laughs> <laughs> and what's kind of cool about this, if I drop down the participants, there you go, you see me as the organizer and there's Kaylee. You can only pull this feature off, really. There's some tricks. Maybe we might cover this, cover this in another video. But this, is, this only works when you're in a team meeting. Mm -hmm. It does not work if you call. So if mm -hmm. I call her by, by coming over here and clicking on her name and I say, you know, call, and I call her inside Teams, if I do that, it's just a one-to-one -one call, and you can't do that transfer feature, which we're going to cover. But right. since it's actual Teams meeting that you set up a calendar invite and you invited multiple people to, and it doesn't have to be multiple, it can just be me and, and uh, the person. So what I do is I'm going to show you on my phone. So I'm in this meeting here. I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring up the Teams app on my phone. So the, here it is right here. So let me minimize this so it doesn't get confusing. Um, and so this is, this is Teams running on my phone. I'm going to click on uh, Join here. And what that's going to do is because Teams is logged in on my phone as me and I have Teams running as me and Teams is smart enough to know that I'm already in a call, it's presenting this on my phone to say, hey, do you want to hop over to your phone now? And it will always be there until you, while you're in the call. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hit join here and I'll do it from, I'll touch it here. And it's going to give you this menu. It can say either add this device or transfer to this device. So if you hit add this device, then what you'll have to do is make sure you don't have this phone right next to your mic, because if you do, it'll create this wicked echo. But usually what I do is I just do transfer to this device. And when I do that, what's going to happen is I'm going to say this. I could say whether I want the mic on or the video on, because it will use the video on your camera if you want it to. And I, I'll, I can just say transfer now. So once I do that, <clears throat> what it's going to do is it's dropped me out of the call, okay? So if I click back here <clears throat> on Teams, which, you know, the whole screen just disappeared. It's just gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now that I've transferred the call over to my phone, and you can see it here, so I'm on the call and I'm on the phone. There's my beautiful face and there's Kaylee's beautiful face. But uh, now what I can do is I can take it back. So now I'm, let's say I'm finished getting my coffee. I come back to my Teams uh, session I have here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit join. And when I do that, 
it's going to basically take it. It's going to give me the options here to say, do you want to turn video back on? I'm going to say no because I'm using the video in Zoom for this moment, and I'm going to go ahead and mute it. I don't want it to do that. Mm -hmm. You can also pretty easily change what your devices are and everything right here, and I'm going to say join now. And as soon as I do that, what's going to happen is it's going to take it. It's going to, it's going to bring it in here, and then it's going to kick me out of the call that I just had. Mm -hmm. So now see it's gone. So it transferred me out. Yeah. Um, that is just a really sweet, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing That's here. That's beast mode really is what that is. <laughs> yeah. Epic sharing, epic so, flexibility. <laughs> yeah. So that is just a really great feature that, um, John, my service manager uses it all the time because he's a big coffee drinker. He's grown up in the Navy, mm -hmm. uh, a Navy chief. And so the man just loves his Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's still in the meeting and hasn't lost the ability to communicate or hear the conversation. And if he needs to turn on the video, he can. Um, if anyone's presenting, you can see it on your phone, right? Mm -hmm. Just like you can on your screen. It's just a little smaller. You mm -hmm. can kind of do little, you know, little zoom thing <laughs> to, get it, to get a little closer. But it is super powerful and, and just really great. And if you are using the actual Teams phone system, there's some additional features that kind of kick in there that we're not going to cover in this video but some other nice features and functionality that you get. So yeah. what do you think, Kaylee? I love this feature. Um, and you know that I use it all the time, sometimes in our conversations, if we're really on a specific point and we're, we're getting somewhere, but I need to go in the car mm -hmm. and go somewhere. This is super helpful to just switch to my phone and still be able to have that conversation and finish up what we're talking about. And obviously, you know, when you hear that espresso machine in the background, <laughs> that I've gone to go get my coffee. So uh, got... yeah, I think this is a really, really great um, tool. And I mm -hmm. definitely think that you should use it. And I definitely think that that gives it even one more leg over Zoom mm -hmm. um, because of that flexibility and how, how easy it is to do it. One, one thing I would add that it's important that, again, just to reiterate, you have to do this in a meeting. Yes. Just straight calling someone doesn't count. You can't do this on the call. There's some right. tricks to get around that, but we're not going to cover that in this video. So what does that mean? So that means that if you want to just kind of do a session with someone and still have that functionality, you just need to do more of those as meetings. Right. But even if it's one-on-one, -on -one, like we have here, it's just me and Kaylee in this call, and you see how easy it was to do. And you can spin them up pretty fast and just send the invite to someone uh, as a calendar invite and then, uh, or just invite them to participate and teams will notify them. So yeah. a really great feature, play with it, comment, let us know what you think. Uh, I'm really curious. We use it a ton and I'm just curious if you do too. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to our channel for more content. Bye.